Hello, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review, and this is the Mind Power Deck and Mind Power Traveller by Card Shark. So before we carry on my usual messages please can you like and subscribe and hit that little bell icon because that will mean you'll get notifications of when I post and when I do go live. Um, so do go live? I do go live. I very much do. Uh, so when I go live which isn't that often but I sort of have videos peppered all around the week and I usually put the reviews out on Fridays but it's not I, I try to be regular but it's tough. Uh, but there you go, like, subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com. People are really loving it, putting new videos on there every month and uh, you will learn a lot. Over 200 videos on there of all me teaching in-depth card stuff. Uh, right, let's get on with it. So listen, the Mind Power deck I wasn't going to review because it's, it's been out a long time. I first saw this without, without realising it was the Mind Power deck, John Kennedy's Mind Power deck and Tim Conover. Uh, a long time ago on Darren Brown's Devil's Picture Book DVD, which is so good. And and this routine smoke and if you haven't seen it google it you've got to watch it it's beautiful it's amazing routine it justifies taking up smoking cigarettes it doesn't kids i'm joking so very briefly the 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 mind power deck is a mind reading effect with cards you spread the cards you get someone to look at the card without saying anything i have a couple of questions and you get the card out of their head it's it's a mind reading effect it's incredible the red card yeah i'm scared for you <laughs> So it's a red card. There's no way I can know this. You looked up that you saw all the different cards yeah. in the pack. Is it a, um, is it quite a high card? No. No, okay. So I'm, I'm just getting a number, number three. The three. Yeah. So I'm scared. <laughs> there's no way I can know this. It's a three of hearts. Yeah. <laughs> right. So two queens here. We'll get to them in a minute. I think you even thought one of them change your mind. So, so obviously, if the club it's a low card, I'm thinking it's a. Just imagine it there. Is it the two of clubs? Yeah. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna have a look in here. Uh, and the first thing is, uh, if I spread these now, you'll see that the. The two of clubs is no longer in the pack. Okay. Yeah. So there's no two of clubs. No two of clubs. There's now two of clubs <gasps> in between. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Missed it. Played it. But the thing is now, if I click, you see there's no longer any two of clubs there. If I go into my pocket here, you'll see that it's <gasps> now <laughs> in my pocket. Amazing. Amazing. Our shark has taken this. They've printed their own uh, Kennedy deck, which is Mind Power deck, which you can get just as a Mind Power deck, which is great, some Phoenix cards, very well printed and all that, but it's, and it gives you instructions on that. There are various uh, releases of this, John Kennedy's own, there's a release uh, I just saw on Penguin that is out of stock, but there's, so there's a few things dotted around, and there's obviously the instructions on Devil's Picture Book, and in Pure Magic, I think, or uh, is it the other one? No, anyway, um, don't quote me on that, but, so I'll do a, a, a mini review of the Mind Power deck and then we'll go on to this Mind Power Traveller, which is this addition to this, which, uh, which is an interesting discussion, actually. So I have been a film fan for, since I'm 46, since about the age of nine, it, before that. I, I just adore films. I've watched so many, but I still have yet to see Cool Hand Luke. You know, it, you miss these things. It's like being a reader and not having read Catcher in the Rye. You, you miss these things. And I've been a card magician for a long time and I've only just learned the Mind Power deck. And... Wow, I just, I can't stress how much I love this. <laughs> You're right, Steve, you say that about everything. I don't, I've started to be a bit, you know, I just don't like reviewing things I don't like. But, um, so I I started, it scares the hell out of me because it's a, it's a mind reading effect. It's not kinesthetic, it's not sleight of hand, it's and anything that's not sleight of hand, if you watch my other videos, just scares me because I'm just comfortable there when I feel like I'm in control. So, so I learned this through Christian's card shock's uh, instructions, and then I went back to the Darren Brown stuff. I could, found it really hard to remember, and I just went out and, and did it. And it's just, and, and when I've done it badly, I've only done it like four times now. Um, I've, obviously, I've practiced it with with family members and stuff, and they still haven't got a clue. But it, the, the strength of this, it, it's a bit like when I first did a centre tear. Well, I'm not going to get away with this, and then you saw the reactions from people. It's it's so strong, I've got to say, it's so strong. So we do a quick pros and cons on the Mind Power deck. 
it's as strong, I think it's as strong as you get. Okay, and because it's not a sleight of hand, it's so, it's, it's, it all happens between you and the spectator, which is such a lovely thing. They look at the, looking at the deck is part of it, and then, then it's all here, okay? Oh, and, and the kicker is you then spread the deck and the card has vanished, or you can then get the card out of your pocket, or there's so many things you can do with this. Which brings me on to the other strong thing, is that there are so many things you can do with it. Once you've got that bit sussed, you know, of, of, of getting the card out of their head, which is literally what you do, uh, you can then decide to have one in your pocket, you know, you can decide to have it somewhere else. You can, there, there's lots of things you can do. It's, just, it's, it's one of eight, that's all I'm going to say. So there's a, there's a lot of creativity in this. And like I've said before, for some of you that are like me that find it hard to come up with ideas, once you do this, the ideas just come. You, there's just, just doing it on its own is strong. Just doing it without the spread at the end when the card vanishes is strong. It just, it just builds. Okay, it's fairly easy. It's not as... If you're like me and you go, oh, I've got to remember eight things and I've got to... It's, it's, it's all fairly logical. And the process you have to learn to do this, even though learning it on scripts feels like a lot to remember, once you do it, it's logical. And what I would say, if you're going to learn this, if, if even before you're totally 100% what you're going to say, just go and try it. And, and you'll, you'll see that it, it kind of makes sense where you're going to go. And, and I found the cards very easy to remember. Um, the, we've got this Traveller's bit. We've got the M bit. You know, I showed you these, and nothing between them. You yeah. see that there's another. Oh, yeah. oh. But if you look here now, the ten of hearts is no longer in the pack. No, it's not. <laughs> also, it's no longer. <laughs> so much you can do with this. You can either get it to show the. Queens haven't got anything between them and then the cards appeared, so it's like a different magic trick, which we'll go into in a minute. You can say, I've put a card between these queens, I'll show you in a minute. Um, loads of different ways to do it, and there's pros and cons for all of them. So what we've got is we've got strength, strength, followed by more strength. It's None of this is filler nonsense, you know, lame trick stuff. Everything you do is going to get a killer reaction, all right? That's all the pros. Now, there's a discussion to be had here, because when I first saw this, I, I, it's kind of like, Again, the magician in me is going, you've shown me two very different things. You've read my mind, but now you've shown me the cards gone from there into this pack, which is not a mind reading effect. Now, it could be if you, if you show it as I've, I've made a pr prediction. Um, so I'm not saying you can't do it that way. But when I saw it, I think I saw it, it kind of appeared, I think, in my head. But that could be false memory. So I'm thinking it floored me. It's really strong, but is it two different tricks? So, like I tried to do every time, I took it out and I performed it a couple of times and that didn't even cross people's mind. None of them said, well, that's weird. You did that, then you did that. They all said, you've just read my mind. These are people that, again, I've shown a few things to, and they all said these, those, that exact thing. How did you read my mind? It was, how did you read my mind? It wasn't like, how did you do a thing that made it look like it was, which is, right, that's good, right? And so, I did it two different ways. I did it with a car appearing and I did it and to them it was the same thing. What it does do is if you're practicing, if, if you really struggle with the first bit of getting the card and you get it in the end but it takes you ages, it cancels all that out if you show that you've put it between ears so it's almost like you knew all the time and you were just playing with them. Um, there was a moment I did it yesterday where she said afterwards, oh, and I thought you got it wrong because I was sort of angling a bit. <laughs> I, was, I, was having a, I was having a nice, relaxed uh, fishing trip in the afternoon. It took about six hours. But I was angry, but, but in the end, I got there in the end. But the minute I showed that card, it just cancelled everything out. Could, and, and she said, oh, I thought you got it wrong. But then you got it right. So it actually helped that I was getting it wrong. And then the final reveal was, was even stronger in a way, arguably. Uh, so you might guess that I like this. The Mind Power deck. Okay, and you can get it all over the place, but you can get it from Card Shark. Obviously, they make beautiful cards. It's going to last you a long time. You're going to use it. If you buy this, don't let it be something that sits on your shelf. That's why I started this channel. Practice it. Sit in a room. You find that sort of non-kinesthetic practice difficult, uh, like me, that's fine, but it's really worth it. You will thank me for it. It's stunning, and I'm not paid by anybody to say this at all. Completely independent. I think this is a worthy addition. I think it, for those people who might have seen that sort of stuff, magicians and all that, it's brilliant, but also to take it out, it feels really good to do. There is no downside to this, I don't think. Oh, there's one thing. Uh, I showed my partner, Jo, and she saw a little bit of a kind of gimmicky type of thing. She thought, she said, oh, I saw something weird there. Now, this is someone that's looking for stuff. I have had none of that from anybody else. So if you see it and go, oh, am I going to get away with it? Yeah, my feeling is that you will. Um, you don't have to put loads of heat on this. This comes in at the end. You just say, oh, I've put some cards in between here, and then you... You um, 
you, you come back to them at the end. So, that, so they're, they're, they're fried from you already reading their mind to worry about what's going on here. So uh, it's great. So there we go. There's the uh, Mind Power deck um, and Mind Power Traveller. Uh, highly recommended. I mean, it's a lovely thing and you'll have a lot of fun with it. And I think that will last you years. Once you do this, you're not going to stop doing it. And I'm not. You know, that's in my pocket all the time now and I'm really enjoying practicing it. So thank you very much. Uh, please go and check out cardmagiccourse.com. Like and subscribe. When you subscribe, please hit the little bell icon down there because then you'll get notifications of when I go live, etc. Um, and thank you very much. Oh, and if you want to share it, that'll be lovely. Cheers.